Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemsicle and welcome to a little tour of all the new architect homes we have got in Sims Free Play. These are the architect homes that we got around the 17th, 18th of May 2016. We got six simoleon houses which I have got a, another video for tours of those houses. I will link that on the just on the screen now. We got five LP ones and six SP ones, and they're the ones we're gonna have a look at look at in this video. I'm going to show you all of these on a premium sized lot. Remember if the house is only a standard size, build it on a standard size because it will be cheaper for you, it won't be as many LPs or SPs. But I'm just going to give you the cost if you build them on a premium lot. The first one is a standard house, it's one floor and it's 37 LPs and I have no idea why it's 37 LPs honestly. Hmm. Okay, it has got the Thanksgiving table in it and it's got the new sink that we just got from the spa event. But other than that, not really much going on. A fairly standard, simple house there. The second house is a premium sized house and this is going to cost you 52 LP to build. And let's take a little look. It's got a few of the, it looks like it's kind of not quite finished to be honest. But it's got some of the things in from the spa event that we've just done. It's got the Serenity Reigns and the nice mirror. I really do like that mirror. Have a little look what it's got inside. Thanksgiving table. That's clearly, clearly quite a popular thing this time around. Lots of the houses seem to have a Thanksgiving table in them. Um, standard type of stuff around the place. Nothing Nothing too limited or worth a lot of LPs or anything particularly. It's got two of the Sonicare uh, bathroom mirrors. No, nothing, nothing major in that house really. I'm not quite sure why it is 52 LPs. The third house is a premium sized house and is it just one floor? Yeah, one floor again. This is going to cost you 182 LPs to build this. Wow. It's got some of the spa stuff here, manicure table and some of the doors and things. I like this floor. It's really nice. What else has it got? Anything else limited? I'm not seeing anything at the moment. I think this is a remodel, isn't it, of a house already in the game. Nothing that amazing, in all honesty. Down here it's got lots of the spa stuff, it's got the hot tub and the Serenity Falls, Serenity Rains, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, whether it's Rains or Falls. It's got the double shower, which is a really nice addition to the game. One of these red tables, stools and tables. Wow, 182 LP for that. That's expensive, not worth it in my opinion. Nice build though. The fourth LP house is 222 LPs. Oh, this looks like fun. It's a one floor again and it is a premium size lot. It's got one of these fire monkey lights, which we had not so long ago. And I like the kind of the look of it actually. Dark themed and all these plants and things. It looks nice. Has it got anything particularly rare? Doesn't particularly seem it that the hidden unicorn that was a limited time prize from one of the quests one of the early on quests in the game we've got oh look at this big big room here that's huge loads of fire pits this is a nice little outdoor area I love these slides I don't know whether you can actually access the slides to be honest I don't think you can access them I think if you got into the pool you'd have to get into the pool and then get out of the steps and do it that way. Nice little outdoor areas, but nothing, again, just nothing particularly rare or anything in any of these houses, but I do like that build. Good job. Oh, that is, that's worth some LPs, is it? Or some SPs or something, that desk there. The last LP house can be built on a standard lot for a cheaper price, but on a premium lot, it is 342 LPs. Wow, two story. Let's see, what have we got? We have got the uh, fish tanks there that you can only buy for real money within the game. Some elevators there. Mm. 
That's an expensive fridge, is it? I'm pretty sure it's an expensive fridge, that one. Some more of the fish tanks here. Lots of this urban furniture, so if you didn't get the urban furniture, you can get it here. Nice little build there. Let's have a little look upstairs what's going on. More fish tanks. What? But 342 simoleons. Uh, simoleons. LPs. That seems extortionate to me. I don't even know how they come up with these prices. That that really does. I mean, it's a nice build. Good job whoever built it. It's a nice little house, but it's definitely not worth 342 LPs. Wow. Moving on to the SP houses. This is 33 SP and is a premium sized house. This looks like it's got a lot of... Well, no, maybe not. I can see a lot of the spa stuff, but it might not have. It's got the Serenity Falls, Serenity Rains, whatever it's called. The mirror. It's got the spa doors that we just got. The curtain ones and the other ones. Um, what else have we got? Anything else? Nice little house. But nothing. Little granny flat down at the bottom. Cool. Nothing too rare there. Nice. Like that little bit there. Little seating area, little the swing of the, all the plants, that's cute. The second SP house is another premium size lot and it is 58 SP. And what have we got here? Some of the circular rugs. That looks pretty much like that's all it's going to be. They're quite disappointing in terms of what they've got in them. Not in terms of the build, I don't want you to think that I am like slagging off people's bills because I'm not at all. What I'm saying is the price that the Sims are putting on them. This is a nice little um, thing at the bottom of the garden, isn't it? I like that. Yeah, there's nothing really rare, limited in this house, particularly. The next SP house can be built on a standard lot, but on a premium lot is 61 SP to build. Oh, it's nice actually. Look how cute that is from the outside. That is cute. Let's have a little look on the inside. So straight away we've got the, um, the floral rug from the spa event and those stools. What else? It's quite nice, but again, I think I'm going to say it on every house, nothing particularly rare or exclusive or limited. That is a nice house. I do like that house. That is... That's cute. Okay, we have a huge price jump here, right up to 332 SP. This is a premium house, two floors. It's got quite a few of the SP doors and windows, but not not loads in all honesty. This desk I like, that's worth, I'm not sure what it's worth, but I'm sure it's SP or LP. Uh, but also, well, this is a nice house. Simply decorated, nice. Look at this, ah, oh, I love this, this is so cute nice backyard area there. Let's take a look upstairs. Upstairs again sticking with the same kind of colour theme. Um, it's nice and a nice balcony. It's nice but 332 SP. Are they having a laugh? It'll be interesting to count up like the windows and the doors and things and see if it is actually, does it even actually total 332 SP? Because I doubt it does in all honesty. This house is a premium one again, 507 SP. Oh my goodness. This is two floors. Wow. It looks like a nice house. It's a very nice house actually. Oh, it's got, oh no, I thought that had a basement. Oh look, it's got the pet. Um, I don't know what that's called, like the run around thing in for the animals, that's nice. If you haven't built the pet park over on Mystery Island, that is where you get that from. Ooh, what else has it got? Oh, this is a nice kitchen, look at this. I like this house a lot actually. Nice little outdoor area there. Lots of the urban furniture, it's got the volleyball net that was a limited time prize that Buddha I think is a uh, 50 LP to buy because I was I want to buy him for my spa that I am currently building and he's quite expensive 
a nice old kids bit at the bottom of the garden there and a little bathroom they've lined the back with a wall which I like I think I've done that in one of my houses in the past good job right so they can get upstairs from those stairs there and there's loads of room upstairs outdoor space and a balcony bedroom up here I don't recognize that chest of drawers what's that from hmm nice look at this nice little area there loads of nice little areas upstairs to be honest on the balcony nice bedroom that's a really nice bedroom I like that okay that's a really nice house I do like that house 507 SP wowzers who even has that amount of SP in the game as you can see I've got 7 SP <laughs> and I play this game an awful lot the last SP house is this premium lot one and 857 SP I mean it just gets ridiculous doesn't it right we've got a little basement there and oh, a couple of floors right let's first floor you go in and you've got your stairs straight down let's have a little look oh it's like a little I don't, I don't really know what it is but it's got like the manicure and pedicure bits there and then a little bedroom <laughs> cute okay what have we got we've got an outdoor pool there lounge area it's got the spa shower there some of the circular rugs nice kitchen over here oh hang on so it's like this is a separate this little bit here is separate oh and it goes up into this nice pink room this is nice is that limited that stereo or not limited but you know worth SP or LP or something I do love these circular rugs they're very nice right let's have a look at the main bit of the house um, nothing massively some of those showers one more time the serenity it's got the again it's got the spa items which you would expect that a lot of people have submitted um houses with the new the new spa stuff in so you can get a lot of that oh look at that i never even thought i never thought of that that's a nice little design that having that by the bed beautiful you'd like would you not think you'd wake up in the night needing a wee though all the time like dripping water would make you need a wee um yeah there you go that is all of the houses uh i was really made up with the previous set of houses for the architects homes and i want to say this time i'm slightly disappointed there's nothing particularly in them that i am missing or i would like to um have so I'm probably not going to be building any of them this time. But let me know what you think about them down below in the comments. Obviously people have won different things. People have been playing the game different amount of times and stuff. So like if you weren't around for the urban furniture things. Will you still have the urban furniture if you weren't around for the... I'm assuming you won't. So no, so if like for you guys who haven't done that, maybe it's worth building some of the houses that I would say, oh no, I don't need to build that. I, you know, whatever. We all have different opinions on what would make a good house to build but yeah let me know down in the comments but thanks so much for watching this video guys go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys soon for a new video bye